Stewing it up between me and you. He pushed it too far and I dealt with it. End up. So Kane's admitted he warned Ross off. That's all. Only because Debbie dropped him in it. Mom? Oh, he said he didn't hurt him. No, there must be more to this. Ross hasn't run away. That monster's done something to him. I hope you're not here to defend your father-in-law. I came to see if you're okay. What do you think? My son could be dead and yet you're siding with them. I just don't want you getting wound up when the truth is. Ross has probably done a runner. The local psycho was the last person to see him and now he's gone. Are you, are you telling me that that's a coincidence? Kane wouldn't risk prison over Ross. It's too low rent for him. He's got a point. Kane's many things, but he's not stupid. So why hasn't Ross been in touch? Just to let us know that he's OK. Because he doesn't care about anyone but himself, Mum. Face it. What happened? She's still going off on one. I managed to talk her down. I told her she put two and two together in May 5. It's not just going to go away, though, is it? You know, if Ross really has gone, your family are never going to forgive me. Well, they're all better off without him. They're not just going to forget about him, though, Pete. You know, what your mum is accusing my dad of, it's my fault. <sighs> I asked him to get rid of Ross. Look, I should have told you this before, OK, and I'm sorry. Dad took Ross in a van and he drove him to the edge of a quarry and when he got back, he wasn't there. But it doesn't make sense, Pete, because there was nowhere for him to go. And, you know, my dad's already lied to Moira. He didn't tell her about the quarry, so what if he's done something stupid? What other explanation is there? You are right? It looks bad. Why do you think he did it? I'm sorry, but, like you said, there is no other explanation. Well, Debs, just calm down. You're supposed to be taking it easy. How can I? My dad can end up in prison over this and I will have put him there. Yeah, but as long as he keeps denying it... Your mum's not gonna let this go. Ross is her baby. She's so protective. Yeah, but I told you that I managed to talk around. Oh, yeah, for now, Pete. And what happens if another week goes by and we still haven't heard from Ross? You know, my dad can deny this all he wants, but if the police investigate... I can't lose him, OK? I need to go and see you, Mum. I need to put this right. No, you'll make things worse. Just let me do it. Why don't you trust me? I, I can convince that Kane didn't do anything. I'll make see that she has to back off. What's wrong with him? Good question. He's not wet, he's not hungry. He wants his dad. What kind of life is this little one going to have without his father? It's not as if his mother gives a damn. <laughs> we need to get the police looking for Ross. I'm not, no, you can't do that. Why not? Well, there's no easy way to say this. I think you were right. About Kane. What's he done to him? Has he, has he killed my boy? I don't know for definite. But even Debbie thinks that he's hiding something. Right, so we have to call the police. But Kane has been running rings around the police for years. What, do you think he's just going to cave? He will when I get my hands on him. I'll knock it out of him. But, Dad, will you just let me handle this, please? But we need proof. And I can get closer to him than the cops can. And I'll find stuff out. I'll get him more stuff to go off. Yeah, and how the hell are you going to do that? He thinks that I'm on his side. But if you lot back off, he'll let his guard down sooner or later. And what if it doesn't work? He'll just get off scot-free. Yeah, well, it's better than going and all guns blazing. But and if you upset Debbie without a really good reason, she might stop you seeing Moses. I will. You will be careful, won't you? The second you find anything, you come straight back and see us, all right? <laughs> 